Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here, and welcome back to World of Warcraft Classic Hardcore and our solo self-found journey here on our Forsaken Priest. Thank you guys very much for clicking on the video and joining me here today. I do appreciate it, and I hope you are all doing well. We are going after Doomweed today. We're also going to take on the Rodhide Grave Robbers and Mongrels. We need Embalming Liquor from both of those mobs. And today should be the day that we finally make our Lesser Magic Wand. We, we need a little bit more cloth. We can make a few more greens. It's kind of like a chance because we, we are making mostly strange dust when we disenchant. But we have a chance to make lesser like a Lesser Magic Essence, I believe it's called. Yeah, we, we need one of these. So I'm hoping that we disenchant a few more items and we get one. Uh, then we can buy some simple wood and we are good to go. So that is pretty exciting. If I was smart, I probably should have... I'm gonna be smart. I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna go grab the wood that we need. I'm also gonna be smart and I'm gonna go ahead and grab some water. Yeah, grabbing some water would be a really, really good idea. We're also getting close to level 10, so that's pretty exciting. We're gonna start going into our talent tree. I'm gonna take five points in spirit tap before we do anything else. That way we start getting our proc to restore our mana. It's gonna be good. Uh, I do notice that we have... We do have some linen cloth. Let, let's see if we can... Turn, I, I must have missed this last time. I thought we had exhausted all of our resources, but all I, I used the bolts that we had. But apparently I wasn't paying enough attention to notice we still had linen. We might be able to get the, the wand right now, depending on how this goes. Alright, so we'll be able to make two of these. We'll be able to make two. I'm wondering if maybe we should grab some bleach and maybe disenchant the white linen instead. I just don't understand what the chance is of either getting strange dust or getting the lesser magic. Alright, but let's buy some coarse thread. The bleach is only 25 copper, so let's grab that. Ooh, let's grab the crispy bat wings, too. Alright, let's create two of these. And we'll go ahead and disenchant. Yeah, so we got Strange Dust. Maybe we need a higher level item to get the lesser Magic Essence. Yeah, because all we're getting is Strange Dust. There was a vendor in Ogrimmar who actually had a couple of uh, Strange, or rather, lesser Magic Essence for sale. So, I'm wondering if maybe that's going to be our best option. Is to check out, like, an enchanting vendor. There's probably also one in the Undercity. And maybe we just should we should just buy it. Because it doesn't seem like it's uh, very common that we're going to get it by disenchanting the stuff that we're disenchanting now. I was just going to say we need to keep our eyes peeled, and of course at that moment we get attacked. That makes sense.
Ooh, we got a Curse of Thule. Spirit reduced by two. Well, that's not good. Spirit is our regen. Now we have our chess piece has plus one. So we're still in the negative on that, which is bad. Yep, I knew I was too close to that guy. I knew I was too close. Of course, of course. I'm gonna pop a potion here. With this Curse of Thule, we look quite demonic. That's an interesting look for us.
Oh, okay, so we have all of our doomweed. We need four more embalming ichor, but we need to find some mongrels. We've been killing grave robbers mostly. Uh, I wonder if the mongrels are closer to the fields. We also have a quest for Magadai that we could probably do while we're up here. He's not an elite, though he might come with one add. Uh, he's a regular knoll. We don't need regular knolls. We need mongrels. Where are they hiding the mongrels? It's definitely a little bit of a different experience playing the game without Questy. I actually kind of prefer it. Like, obviously I don't have to think too much. I, I know generally where most of the quests are at. But it's like digging into the specifics in cases like this that gets a little bit more interesting than just following the markers on the minimap. I do feel like there's a bigger sense of having to explore around. And by having to explore around, we're probably bound to fight more. Which is good, because, you know, we need the kill XP. Yeah, like, all I'm seeing out here are gnolls, which makes me think maybe the, the mongrels are back in the forest. Southwest of us. I'm gonna check the fields, though, and we'll work our way towards where Magadai is. Oh, here we go. There's a mongrel in the field. Maybe they're in the fields. There we go, that's level 10, that gets us into our talents. We are going to go into Shadow, and we're going to do 5 points in Spirit Tap. So at 5 points, ooh, respawns. At 5 points, we'll have a 100% chance uh, to gain 100% bonus to our Spirit after killing anything that yields XP. So it's going to be a way that's going to keep our mana going from pull to pull. Thank you. 
now I completely forgot to buy water in town. But apparently we picked up three while we've been out here, so... I appreciate the gnolls for dropping water. It's very, very considerate of them. Now, that was not an intentional pull, but it's okay because we managed to get this guy by himself. Which is what I wanted. Just didn't really want to do it that way. Alright, Magadai is level 10. And we're probably going to use this fence a little bit to our advantage. And just hope it doesn't, uh, doesn't bug him out too much. Oh, he doesn't care. Oh, there's an opening right here. Oof. Yeah, I didn't notice that. I thought we had a little piece of wood blocking this, but no, it's, it's open. Well, we got him anyway. So let's have a look. We can make two more bolts. We can make the brown linen robe. And we can disenchant and cross our fingers. Yeah, see, we, we're getting lots of strange dust and that's fine, but... It's not what we need. We're going to have to get ourselves back over to uh, Duratar anyway. So when we do that, I'm going to stop inside of Orgrimmar and just see if we can purchase what we need. And get this wand made. And yeah, I think it would be a good time to head back that way after we turn these in. We don't have any quests here that are green. Uh, we, we completely lost our... Our priest quest. That's a cool looking robe too that we missed out on. Like, it's funny because, you know, in that first episode when we got that quest, I was using Questy. And then subsequently we stopped using Questy. And so this is one quest that I've never done before. I have no idea where this guy's at. The thing is, like, it I don't know that it really says where he is. It really doesn't seem like the quest gives many hints. So yeah, we, we might miss out on that one. The shadows beckoned. They'll all be mine in the end.
Hello. Darkling. We have a silver pine breadcrumb already. We probably won't be following up on that for a little while. Speak quickly. Embrace the shadow. Beware the living. Trust no one. Hello. Trust no one. Be quick about your business. Yeah, it's a good time to head back to Duratar anyway. We have a couple of quests here that have turned green on us. This one we, we're almost done with. We just need to be able to get inside the keep. And as soon as we have the wand, that should be fairly simple. Especially at level 10. Now we're missing a quest for raptor, oh wait, here we go, raptor eggs. Then we're missing a quest for tiger, for tiger furs. Maybe that's a, a skinning quest that we just don't have. I remember there being a quest in the Razor Hill to get uh, tiger skins from the Echo Isle. So we'll have another look around back in uh, Razor Hill. It's very likely that I missed something. It's either that, or that's like a skinning specific quest that you only have access to if you're a skinner. But I don't think that's the case. I think we probably just missed it. If I was smart, I'd probably be down there grinding on the bats, looking for meaty bat wings uh, while we wait for the zeppelin. Of course, as soon as I do that, I'm sure it'll pull up any second. Yeah, he here it comes, right? I think I, c I can probably fight like one of these guys and have time to get up there and be okay. But yeah, definitely in the future, we should probably just grind while we wait for the zeppelin.
All right, so our first stop is going to be inside Orgrimmar. We are going to go find the Enchanter. And we're going to hope that the vendor still has a couple of lesser magic essence for sale. Because I want to make this wand. We've been working towards it for a little while now. And then once we make the wand, that's out of the way. Like, obviously we have to keep on, like, making anything green that we can. Because we have to get, uh... I believe we have to get enchanting up to like 70. Yeah, I think it was 70 for the greater magic wand. And we'll be able to equip the greater magic wand at level 13. So we have three levels to get uh, quite a few points in enchanting. The good news is we have quite a bit of strange dust now. So like already we can probably get 13 points out of this. I'm gonna kind of hold off and see like how many points we can get just by disenchanting stuff before I start spending a lot of mats. I feel like the disenchanter was in this area, but I should probably ask a guard because I am not sure. And we're not rocking questy, so we don't have any uh, any tracking. It's a very interesting way to play. Yeah, there we go. I was, I was close. I was looking on the wrong side of the street. You know what I also realized? Um, I don't think we have the flight point for Ogremar. We climbed this tower once, but I don't recall whether or not I clicked on the Flight Master. I'd hate to get to a point in a few hours where we're like out in the crossroads and we need to fly back to Orgrimmar, but I don't have the flight point. That would be kind of embarrassing. Let's just come up here and take a little peek. Okay, yeah, look, we, we never grabbed it. <laughs> I am glad I thought of that now. And then is there anything else that we need to take care of while we're here? We maybe want to see if we can train tailoring up past 75. Because apparently we're already 51 points into tailoring, which is uh, fairly impressive in my estimation for me. Now, I don't know if this is the tailor. This is Cloth Goods. Journeyman Tailor. Yeah, here we go. I think we need the expert to train the next rank, though. Yeah, he's got us. Uh, very nice. Also, also, linen bags. Yeah, we still have two. We need, it. we need one for the four slot as well. Let's train that. The shirts? Like, I don't really... I don't really care about the shirts. I don't know if the shirts are going to do anything for us. The shirts are still going to have like torn up elbows and stuff, so... I don't think a shirt's really going to help me. Hashtag no shirt. I don't mind buying the patterns eventually, but right now I want to make sure that I have the silver that I need to buy the materials I need for this. Uh, we have 24 silver. Oh, look at that. She's got one left. Oh, God. That's exactly what we needed. Uh, yeah, I don't think we need anything else right now. Guys, it's finally happening. I am very excited for this. This, like, just getting the wand make, makes the priest, like, such a joy to play. It becomes, like, a wand auto attack almost, like, or at least it, it can be built that way. I don't mind that. 
Uh, okay, so we did we did tailoring up. We got the wand. I don't think we have anything else that we need to do here. Although, like, I'm not sure if maybe Thrall or some other people might not have quests for us. We'll just have to wait on that, I guess. Do we need to learn any weapons here? That's a question. Right now, we only have maces. I don't know if this is where I learn staffs. I don't really think that it is. But maybe while we're here, we should ch check the weapon trainer. Blood and thunder. Weapon master's this Go way. With honor. Yeah, let's just go have a look just in case. I really don't even know all of what priests can equip. I, I think it's just maces, one hand maces, and staffs. But that seems really limited. Maybe we can also equip daggers. I guess daggers would make sense. I don't think we can equip swords. He does have stabs. Oh, that's awesome. That co that costs quite a bit, but um, yeah, it's it's totally worth it. Okay, that's great. Alright, guys, I'll tell you what, I'm going to take a break right here for now, and when we come back, I will have us on the way down to Senjin Village. That is our destination. I'm going to try to do everything that we can on the Echo Isles. I will stop in Razor Hill, and I'll try to see if I can find the Duratar Tiger skin quest. See if we can get that one going as well. Thank you guys very much for joining me today and for all of the support on this series truly does mean the world to me so take care of yourselves out there and take care of each other and we will see you back here again very soon bye for now <laughs>